delved into my first submission, you realize that almost everything I said is the same thing that all of us are talking about. Except that me and my brother, because of policy sometimes, maybe a few issues. But what was I talking about? Wrong fundamentals, which we cannot associate that with only one regime. And then my uncle here made a good point that within the fourth republic, the governments that have come, so all the challenges we are all raising and you are raising, and it is a fact. Let's be honest with ourselves. There have been problems with us for about 30 years. That's my point. There are a lot of wrong fundamentals. That one we should accept and appreciate these things. Why are you admitting that now? Oh, who told you I never admitted? No, who told you? The, 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 reality, I never the reality... I'm coming. I'm the reality coming. is that the government the, never point, accepted never, any. That is not true. That I'm is coming. true. I'm, I'm saying that is not true. I'm speaking. You say that is true. Have I said that? But what I'm saying is that, my brother, before the COVID, what was our fiscal space? That vulnerability and the fiscal space you are talking about is because, characteristically, Ghana, we run negative effective tax rate economy. All governments. What I mean is that monies outlaid to the households in our country are always more than monies we generate internally, excluding loans. So we run, <laughs> I mean, I mean, classically, a, a, a deficit economy all the time. Only about 2 million out of 31 million people pay direct taxes. There are leakages that you can say the backstop at the head. Fine. But my brother, in a democratic dispensation, along the value chain and critical activity path, if all of us don't change our mindset and we sit here and we always think it's only Mahama and Anato, we should forget. That's what that I'm saying. Now you're talking about... When did you realize like, this? Oh, please, stop when, when, when. Uh, but that's the truth. Okay, I've, I'm telling you today. Okay. Are you answered? Okay. Thank okay. you. Yes, I'm answered. Go ahead. I, I'm, I'm asking you. Why aren't you in this country that the most... I mean, the final prominent, is it, profound statement of the IMF was said that Ghana was doing well till the COVID. Let's be very honest. It was so emphatic without any ambiguity and debate. That one, nobody wants to talk about it. Because the parameters were doing well. Talking about their sustainability, yes, I understand as a country because of the fundamentals. How were we am, doing well? We got to the market, borrow three billion. Is go, it go to where? What the market but what were we not borrowing? We live in this country. The year 2000, mm -hmm. our debt to GDP was about 150%. Okay. We live in this country. When aren't we borrowing? When? If you have a country that emolument alone takes about 70% of our revenue generated internally, cuts across all government, what is happening? So we know that as a country, we have wrong fundamentals. How do we fix them so that going forward, we will be economically independent? If you don't want us to address this, then we'll do comparisons. Because if not anything at all, my brother was asking what we've been doing. I'm talking about my constituency. You can go and check. And then I'm not done. My constituency. 2,200 school children have access to tables and chairs. First, first, when I became MP, you can go and check. All secondary schools, I'm not saying they have enough, but they all have computers. What's your point no, at this point? No, he was saying that what do you use the money for? So I'm telling you what the money has been used for. Every constituency had ambulance. Roads, about 60% of my roads are done. Now I drive between in Saoma and Apega. It takes me 21 minutes. So don't let's behave. There's nothing being done. Look, 1D1F, is it not a policy framework to put money and help investors get money so that we can generate something out of it? The problem is... How many factories do we have now? I can't off head, but... But over 100? Yes. Yeah. So, so, coming, so which, me, which projects over the last seven years have led boss, to I don't some, have all some, the some good import substitution boss, I don't have all a particular... The you uh, can't come and ask me anything that I don't hold a book here. Oh, let me saying, explain things. Stika, no, no. Is that, the, I'm saying, why let me explain me, things. Stika, why no, okay. don't, 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 don't do this to me. I'm not fighting you. You are just doing, you are, if you think you want to do politics, just do. Because I'm not fighting you. Okay, please go We ahead. are talking. Go Have ahead. I insulted you? No, not Have at I all. Have I said anything bad? Not at all. If you ask somebody to answer a question, he's answering. He doesn't even end a sentence. You go and bring another issue. And I'm saying, let me finish. He's I'm fighting it's you. It's in line with you. The propaganda you are doing will not wash. Because mm. you know me. I'm a very smart guy. Mm. The point that I'm making is that every point anybody... And I'm not doing propaganda. I'm asking you questions. But I'm not fighting you. So why did please you make that statement? Please go ahead. Thank you. The point I'm making is that everything that my brother from NDC and Uncle here raised is a fact. But there are issues with us fundamentally 
for a long time. But if you want to do politics, look, my brother was talking about utilities. UK, here, electricity increased 66.7, gas 129.4. Even those who have properly structured economy. So the point I'm making is that let's take away the politics and try to make sure that we analyze these wrong fundamentals so that as, 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 as a country, we can build. That's what I'm saying. Okay. NDC may come, NDC may lose. If we don't all come together, CPP can come, CPP can lose. If we all don't come together and we keep on, and we are promising because Ghanaians want the promises and people want to come to power. Right now, if me, if you can't want to Ghanaians to vote for you, you tell them that. I use my first four years to restructure this, to do this. I'm not going to even do more rules. I'm not going to give free this, free this. Let's be honest. We're going to use it for you. I haven't been on a political platform. So I wouldn't know. I haven't, I haven't, assessed, say that I haven't assessed voters. So I don't know what they will I'm vote. I'm saying something to support what he said. So all of us, the key point here is that we need to renew our mindset. So Just as it? Ephesians 4, 23 says, Renew your mind. Okay. Ghanaians, we have a lot of issues in all sectors. Right now, let's take former President Mahama Nanado, myself, my brother here, CPP man, everybody, and bring new set of people. You think these problems will be solved? Maybe they'll get better. Let's bring, oh, maybe. You go, go to the institutions. Look, I want to give because, you Because we are, all, I want we are on the path you, of conjecture. I want to give you assignment. Because right now, we have Jamama and Ekufado. Because when people are talking, you don't do this. It's I, only me you want no, to that is do not bad true. and forth. That is not true. You don't. That, that is you, not true. I was doing back and forth with him. No, you will ask your because, question after you spoke. He's doing what he's doing to me. The point I'm making is that. go ahead. The point I'm making is that go to all the institutions in Ghana. When you finish, it's unfortunate I'm traveling. Go to all the institutions, being education, being ministries, being media houses, being all the universities, and go and check their toilets. Go and check. We have professors there. What has Toyota got to do with what I'm what saying is that it's easy. Talk is cheap. You say they will do better. You think it is the attitude of Ghanaians we have to work on. This is a fact. But the point that I'm making is that it is always a good point that we invest our money in the areas that we can earn, as they are all saying, we all know. But why are we not doing that? Because productivity is an issue in our country. Go to the ministry. Go to the agencies. Okay. Those who are supposed to come to work eight, they will come nine. Okay. Lunch one hour, they will do two hours. Sticker. Going home five, they will go Sticker. four. Always on their phones. Sticker. We need to work on this. If a leader wants to change that, there will be demonstrations. A country, you can't come out with policies in terms of taxes. NDC will say no. MP will say no. When We need to be honest with God and ourselves and change this country. Sticker. Other than that, who do all this propaganda, attacking each other. Some speak out of unconscious incompetence. They don't even understand subject areas. And they will do all this against NDC and PP ourselves, and the media will be divided, and professors will talk along and depend on their individual interests. Ghana will be the same. But the fact of the matter is that one thing I'm happy about, the COVID killed a lot of people in the world. Ghana was one of the best countries we could control. Is it? Is it? It's not only Ghana, the rest of Africa. You see, the, one the, of the, the countries. The fatality you was I low. Said? When I say one, I mean the I rest said, of Africa. The fatality did I say was only Ghana? Low, no, did I say only Ghana? Uh, uh, so, Sika, let me no, ask no. you. Let me ask did you. Did I say only Ghana? No, you didn't. Say only so, Ghana. why are you saying this? Okay, so, Sika, I'm let me ask it's you. It's one of the countries. Okay. So, don't try okay. to force yourself and get okay. issues with my statement. All right. So, 